Epidural risks, what no one really talks about. So epidural risks, <clears throat> the number one or the most common is going to be low blood pressure. That's the reason why we actually give fluids to our patients. And not only that, but that's also the reason why we wanna make sure that when you are having an epidural, everything dilates. So that means it drops everything, your brain doesn't get as much blood flow, and then you start to vomit. That's the number one side effect of an epidural is lower blood pressure. So that's the reason why we try to kind of build you up. Secondarily, there is a chance of a postural puncture headache. So what that means is when you are supposed to actually go epidura, meaning before the dura, so when you go here, let's say it punctures through here, and this is where the cerebral spinal fluid ends up living. So when you do that, you create kind of like a hole, and then the cerebral spinal fluid starts to leak, your brain starts to sag, and you have a horrible headache. That's postural, meaning whenever you lay down, it stops. When you sit back up or stand up, boom, it's there again. Now you can also get itching, nausea and vomiting from different types of epidurals, as well as the loss of bladder control Control. It's usually like a very short window of time, and that's the reason why we end up doing a Foley catheter as well. And then last but not least, soreness in the back. You know, you're pregnant, you probably bruise a lot easier. So those are the big risks and when epidurals and their risk factors. Now, if you don't wanna puke during your epidural, or if you know somebody who is about to go into labor, grab a Nomal Nausea Band. It's the first essential oil infused acupressure wristband that instantly stops nausea and vomiting for pregnant chicks from morning sickness all the way through to labor and delivery. And trust me, this is what we use at the hospital, you should too.